Lady Eliza Jane, you're up next. So the tournaments we're doing here is what we call a balsa joust, where the last metre of the lance is actually balsa wood. It's a lot safer. It doesn't go into sharp pieces, it goes into chunks. It's a lot safer, both the horse and the rider. Solid lance jousting is like the next level. Um, it's all one piece. Um, they have uh, metal coronels. It's 15th century armour upwards and it's, it's very serious sort of stuff. Sometimes it's a point for a touch, two points for a break, and three for a shatter. Or else it's one point for a break, two points for a shatter and then three points for either helm or point to point. So coronel to coronel, which is pretty spectacular. A well-placed balsa tip will certainly knock people off. As you can see from Lady Eliza Jane, she's actually broken the whole lance. Did he balk on you? Did he balk? Okay. Mr. Din is my horse. A ball, so the horse has actually stopped. It could be just that he's bounced against the rope or something like that. Um. A placement of both stallions and mares is fairly important. You've got to remember that when they are in full helms, they've only got about that much view. They can't actually look down like we might. They actually have to physically tilt their head. It does take a lot of skill to be able to ride a horse in full armour and then control that horse, which is often very excitable and very keen to joust, um, down a list line and then also with your lance hit a target that's about a foot or under a foot square. So the best part of your shield, if you've got your shield on here, is the outer quarter, is what we generally get everyone to sort of go for and generally the, the, first, the top two quarters are best. In theory though, Anything in the chest area is fine, hence why we wear armour, or why they wear armour. So you'll see some of the, the knights had crests on their helmets. In some jousts, that is a very legitimate target. That, that's, that's skill and control. So that's why they have full-faced helms and can only see this much. <laughs> but a lot of that does come down to training and everything like that. Most of these jousters will train at least two to three times a month. And that's solid just on jousting. So we've got cattlemen, we've got riding instructors, you know, people who deal with race horses and things like that. So there you are know, people who deal with horses and ride a lot of the time.